Hey guys, welcome to the second update video on my Hunger Games map that my friends, subscribers, and I have been working ever so hardly on. Uh, we've gotten a lot done since the last update video. The pod system is done, so you can see the pods right there where the players run or pop out of the ground and go into the cornucopia. I think I got it right that time for once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, we've added a little, few more buildings. It may not seem like a ton more buildings, but you have to remember it takes a long time to build each skyscraper. But right now I'm going to show you how the pod system works. I have gold troll with me down here where the players will enter. So let's say you're from District 1. I'll have him get in the District 1 chamber. Come on. Come on. All right. Here we go. So he gets in there. I close him in. So I'll close each player in there. And then they can't get out. I have the master control switch in my pod. I will be playing in the games with you. And when I hit that button, all players get pushed up so they can look around outside. They can't get out yet. Not until I'm ready also. Then I go into my pod once I'm sure all players are in. I get up. And as you can see, I can look around. Uh, you will have glass. You won't have gold. I have the pimp pod. Of course, I'm the creator. But then I hit that switch and it pushes us all up where everyone can run to the middle. And that's where chess will be. Uh, it took me a while to do that pod system, the red wire, the redstone wiring, ah, that was awful. That took me a good day to figure everything out and try to get everything uh, good timing because I did a giant circle, so I figured out that the pod right next to me went up really quick, but then the pod to the left of me would take a good five seconds to go up, so I had to take out the delay time. Uh, another thing we've been doing is adding interior to the houses. We started doing that. So this is a hotel room, one of the many hotel rooms. Got a lounging area, nice bathroom with a shower, a crapper. Got a little bit of everything in here. So a big thing was we have these huge buildings, and we want people to take the time to scavenge through them. So when you run to a building, it'll take you a good while to look through everything in the building, look through all the chests hidden. And there'll be a lot to do in the map. So on top of worrying about people trying to kill you, uh, you have to try to find I mean, supplies, hidden supplies, while sneaking around others. And yeah, it, I, I think it'll be fun. A lot of these buildings don't have anything in them yet. We're, we just started adding some interior. I think we started making a couple traps here and there. I don't even know where some traps are, so I've been walking around very gingerly. Been adding some... I don't even know what those are. Houses. I can't think of the word. Condos, yeah. Mm, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll go yeah. I'll stick with condos. A bunch of just houses. It's much easier. I want to try to complete this as quick as I can, but make it as look as look as good as I can. So we're just gonna make a bunch of the same houses, but it'll look nice. I think it'll look very nice. The clock tower, that was there last time. I think everything down this line is was pretty much there last time. Yeah, I'll probably, yeah. Uh, so that's pretty much all we've made for now. Like I said, it may not look like a ton, but it takes a lot of time to build everything. And we have expanded the world a lot more, but there's a lot I can't show you. I want to keep some of the map for surprise when you come and play in the game with me and my other subscribers and friends. So I don't want to show you everything. Uh... If you want to play in the Hunger Games, make sure to send me a message. I will start making a list. Uh, I will message you when I put you on the list so you know you're set. And thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video if you want to see more and play in the Hunger Games. All right. Bye.